Let's say we're given the two fractions that we have here and that we're asked to simplify them. Look at the one on the left hand side here. We have 2x to the power of 3 over 6x squared. And the idea behind simplifying this is to cancel out the highest common factor of the numerator and of the denominator. Here's how that works. We can rewrite the numerator as a product of its factors. Indeed, when we write 2x cubed, it means 2 times x times x times x. And we can do the same on the denominator. When we write 6x squared, we can write 6 as a product of its factors. Indeed, we have 6, which is 2 times 3, and that's multiplying x squared, which is x times x. And all we have to do to simplify this fraction is cross out anything that the numerator and denominator have in common. And it doesn't take us long to see that they both have a 2, so I'll cross those out. I have an x at the top and the bottom, so I cross those out. I have another x at the top and another x at the bottom. And that's all that they have in common. And the simplified fraction is obtained by writing whatever is left. In other words, this is equal to x over 3. And that's the final answer. We now look at the second fraction. Well, let's see, we have 5ab squared over 10a squared. Well, the method is the same, so I start by writing the numerator as a product of its factors. So 5ab squared means... 5 times a times b times b. And on the denominator, we have 10a squared. Now, 10 can be written as 2 times 5, so I can go ahead and say that that's 2 times 5 times a times a. And now that we've written the numerator and the denominator in factored form, we go ahead and cross out anything that they both have in common. So we can see that they both have a 5, so I cross those out. They both have an a, so I cross that out as well. And in fact, that's all they have in common. So that leads us to, well, we have b times b over 2 times a. In other words, that's equal to b squared over 2a. And that's the final answer. And that's it for this tutorial on simplifying algebraic fractions.